Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. And today I am taking on an official server alone, just a few minutes after wipe. So things should get pretty interesting. Do I have a plan today? Absolutely not. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I want to make a fun little base, and I guess we'll see how it turns out. So there I was, just a few minutes after Fresh Wipe, setting off into the world of Rust alone. As with any start to a new server, my first aim is to get myself a bag down in a good location. I headed towards the center of the map, grabbing cloth and farming some materials along the way. Outpost right now. Do hear someone over here though. Oh no. Oh, I missed. After making a play and getting my hands on a crossbow, I was low health and the sun was setting. And so I headed to the safety of outposts to recycle, farm some resources, and restore my health while waiting for night time. Okay, what did I buy? I'll get some wood. Maybe some metal as well. Nice. With a full inventory of loot, I didn't want to travel too far to build my first base, in case I died and lost everything. I settled on a location near a number of good monuments. There was going to be a lot of action nearby, and before the sun rose, I set off to build. I think this location is perfect. You know what? I'm building a rock base today. I've decided. I'm gonna build a rock base, and it's gonna be awesome. Just gonna put tool cover in the corner. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Yeah, I did not place that very well. Oh well. Let's get a box. Uh, what skin am I feeling? Go with the heli one. And a cauldron. With my starter built and secured with a tool cupboard, I headed towards the mining outpost to explore the nearby area. Let's go see what's going on at the outpost. Okay, I don't think anyone's there. There's a fight here, though. I feel like on a server this uh, full, the crates will respawn here quite quickly, so this might be a good way for me to get components later on. But for now, I'm just going to head towards airfield, see if I can run into some guys with guns. Ooh. Oh, I have to go towards that. Is that his teammate over there, though? Screw it, I'm going to risk it. Uh oh. Oh, I think they are together. Oh, this isn't good. Yep. Okay. Being a sucker for loot, I couldn't help myself but run towards the first shots I heard. Instead of respawning in the base, I decided to start back at the beach. I was keen to explore other areas of the map before settling down in my final location. Ah oh, well, I feel like starting back on the beach. See what other locations I can find. Maybe some other monuments might treat me well this wipe. Spawning on the southwest of the map, I decided to travel to a monument I don't normally spend too much time in. The Junkyard. 
and to my surprise, it was a lot stronger than I remembered. I can't believe how many crates are here. God, there are more crates here. This place is actually really strong. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of scrap. Almost 150 scrap. I should definitely think about getting a base down over here. After looting all of the crates and recycling, I quickly farmed up the resources for a small base. goes out. Okay, I think with that I am ready to build another one by one. <laughs> Gonna build another rock base, almost the same as last one. Weirdly similar. Uh oh door down and we're safe and immediately after placing my tool cupboard there was already action going on nearby I don't actually have an airlock but I want to see if I can third this fight oh come here this guy has all the loot oh no Oh. <laughs> Combat knife him. Ah. <laughs> oh, that guy is sad. Just knife them both. Do you reckon they live nearby? They are farming. After stealing all the loot, I scurried back to my one by one with pursuers close behind. Maybe a good idea to get my base to stone. Oh, that was good timing. He literally just shot the wall. It was safe to say they weren't too pleased I'd stolen their loot. Oh, these guys aren't going to leave me alone, are they? Hello? Uh-oh. And not five minutes after building my base, I was in for a surprise. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm getting raided. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have much to defend right now. Um, <laughs> what do I do? Oh dear. After winning the raid defense with my bow, I decided that I didn't really like that area anymore. So I respawned back at my other base and continued on with my wife. Well, that was an interesting start. I uh, guess I'm not living by junkyard today. Could have sworn I heard someone in here. Take a spring. Thirty scrap, not bad. I didn't particularly want a repeat of the previous events, and I wanted to expand my base as soon as possible to keep it strong. I headed towards the mountains to find some stone. Okay, well now I can make a pickaxe, but I'm gonna make some arrows first. Ooh, I'm gonna pick up that battery actually. Okay, I'm gonna craft myself an outside bag too. Ah, uh, that group that live right next to the mining outpost are gonna be really annoying. I heard a number of fights breaking out at the mining outpost. I went over with my bow to investigate. Let's get the bag down over here. 
Just in case. Ah, uh, that is quite a lot of people. off over there. I don't think I want a piece of that, I'll be honest. For the time being, I didn't have the gear to take on these groups. Instead, I cleaned up the remaining loot and headed home to stash whatever I could. Oh no. Run away. At least he's not very good. A little bit of scrap, a few components, can't complain. I was pretty certain that there would be some loot left over from all the fights and skirmishes at the outpost. So I crafted an Ioka and ran back. Oh yeah, there's still fighting going on here. I think that guy might be on the roof. Oh, he is. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, he's definitely dead. I might be able to steal that compound bow. And then kill that guy there. Oh, oh that's a P2. Oh, who do I shoot? I think that's it. I think that's everyone dead. No way I've dropped that. Another saw. Get a P2. There was no doubt plenty of good loot left at the fight that I'd missed, but one of the most important things when playing solo is having the self-control to cut your losses and stash your loot whenever you can. I just had to run. I had to. Getting home with two SARS and a P250 was huge. Having no blueprints on the server, this allowed me to roam with a weapon while keeping one in base to research later. Well, that's a nice way to recover from getting raided. I mean, uh, obviously defending the raid. <laughs> Got myself two SARS and a pizza. And with all this loot now secured, I figured it was probably time that I wasn't living in a one by one. I think it, I waited a little bit uh, too long for giving myself an airlock. I have this problem. I like to wait ages and I don't know why. Ironically, if I actually built an airlock on my last base, I might still have it now, but... Oh well. What can you do? Okay, I'm gonna need more stone. And now it is night time. Head to the outpost. On the crates, we do. Diving tank. Gears. Oh, more gears. Not a bad run. Got some good scrap and components. I'm actually gonna head back with the uh, leftover components that I don't need. Might as well recycle them. These crates are respawning so fast, I love it. Oh, it's another hundred scrap, I gotta get out of here. With enough low grade for a furnace, all I needed was some stone and metal ore, and I'd have the metal fragments flowing. That will definitely do, but I need to F1 kill. There we go. Now I got some food and heal up. It's about time I got this core upgraded to stone. I'm gonna leave that frame as wood. 
that as well. Perfect. Of course, it wouldn't be a Wilgen base without the most important item of them all, the rug. Beautiful. Nothing quite like getting your first rug down in the base. I think it's about time I got a furnace. Oh, the skin of my feeling. That one? Actually, nah. Perfect. It's right inside the cliff. More crates have respawned here. This outpost is so broken. Okay, another 70 scrap. Time to go home. You know what? I'm feeling kind of risky. I might just take out one of the SARS I've got and use it to roam. Despite it still being early on in wipe day on an official server, I thought I'd test my luck and take out the SAR on a PvP run. I'll probably fire one bullet and get immediately swarmed, but oh well. Let's do this. I think I'll head up the road towards Satdish. That's a big base over there. Ah, got some bases on the ice lake. It's a shame. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> you saw a grenade at me? That man's insane! That's <laughs> a bean can. That's a free revolver. I'm gonna take that right home. It's actually quite helpful. I'll be able to learn that. It's a shame someone's already built on that ice lake. It would have been fun. It may not seem like much, but I've managed to get my hands on a revolver, which in some ways was even more helpful to me than the SAR I'd already acquired because this was a weapon that I would be able to craft readily at tier 1, the perfect gun for a solo grub like myself. Oh, that's a farmer over there. He might actually have a lot of resources for me. I think that's an ice pick. This guy die? There we go. Ooh, a couple of case sold for all, not bad. I gotta get out of here though. Oh, that clip's annoying. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, it's more. Oh, it's a firing squad! <laughs> okay. It was no surprise that roaming with the SAR was going to bring some unwanted attention, but at least I'd got the revolver home before dying. I loaded up my furnace and grabbed a hatchet to collect some wood. I won't lie, I was kind of expecting that to happen. Actually, I'm going to farm some wood first, and then I'll craft a workbench. Quite chilly. Minus 32. I hate farming wood, man. I feel like someone's just gonna kill me at any second. Oh, 
Alright, that will be enough. Home sweet home. With all the scrap and resources I had built up, I figured that it was finally the time to craft myself the workbench level 1. Right, I think I need a little break while it's night time. Okay, it is morning, my furnace has been smelting, got the workbench at the ready. Feeling good. And with some stone and wood left over, I wanted to expand my base a little bit more. How do I want to do this? I want to build into the cliff, I think that would be really cool. So maybe if I have a jump up in that corner. Triangle there. Can I place a wall in there? I should be able to. I really miss the old building mechanics. When you could like build straight into blocks. It was so cool. But I'll see what I can do. There's a furnace as a jump up in the corner. That works. And I'll place a wall in there like that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's quite cool, actually. Although, if I could jump through... No, I don't think that's big enough to jump through. That's a shame. That would be really cool if you could uh, jump through that gap. I'll just upgrade it, though. Foundations to stone. Actually, I may as well get most of the core to stone. I think I want to replace those single doors with double doors as well. That to stone. And then get this bit to wood. Actually, I'm going to use the single door for that up here. I kind of like the look of single doors. I wanted the core to feel a bit more spacious, and so I used a sword to open up the wooden door frames. Okay, now I can put a double door down here. Just some wooden stone. Oh, that gives me much more space. Let's squeeze the workbench in there. Can I fit the furnace? Oh no, too big. Get rid of this as well. Hmm, I want to fix the furnace placement. Oh, that research table fits in there really nicely. Oh, look at that. That works. I like that. With my spare scrap, I decided to learn the revolver and pistol ammo. Allowing me to craft as many as I liked. Got that Revy blueprint. Alright, I think I'm ready to go. And with my newly crafted revolver, I headed to the mining outpost to farm some scrap. I feel a little more confident now I've got a Revy. More crates here. As per. Another successful scrap run. I even got the chair. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but uh, insane blueprint nonetheless. I guess just have some electricity. Despite not having a tier two, I wanted to use my scrap on learning the P250. This would set me up for later on in this wipe, as well as future wipes to come. Kind of do with getting myself some uh, more leather and cloth. 
Living in the snow was a pretty harsh environment. I constantly needed clothes to stay warm, and the best way for leather was to hunt some animals. There's the bear. Oh, it's not dead. Okay. Murder run! Oh, that was close. Perfect. Is that your body? Oh, I can't see it! Oh, it's not dead. Yes. Beautiful, two bears. Well, that is the leather and cloth that I needed. Craft loads of clothes with that. Might as well get the uh, bear meat cooking too. Plenty of leather to spare. It would be wrong not to craft the best item in the game. Oh, it all feels better now I got the bear rush. Most important item of any way. You already know. I could actually do with some more storage. I am really running out. I'll just place this small box for now. If I can. That'll do. After running a lot of the mining outposts this way, I wanted to explore a little further, and so I headed to Airfield. Well, it's a new morning. I might as well try a new monument. I have no idea whether this place is going to be busy. Well, we have crates. That's something. I swear, Airfield is so underwhelming. For how big and annoying it is to loot, there are just no crates at all. Like, <laughs> literally nothing. Oh well. Wow, two crates. Okay, I got a little bit of scrap. Might as well grab some of the red barrels that spawn underneath. Let's see. Oh, got another few. So I got some good crude oil. Okay, coast looks clear. I do not like the sound of all those gunshots though. Didn't get the best loot, but at least I made her home alive. It's all that matters. I did get a silence though. Maybe I should learn that for the P2. Get another box because I am running out of storage. That one can go right there. Perfect. Recycling to the cloth. I'll keep the rope. Let's go. Okay, 
way, even more scrap. I've actually farmed a lot of scrap this fight. I've obviously had to spend it on blueprints, but I'm doing pretty well. It's felt pretty smooth so far. Yeah, barb if you want. Get myself back to full health. I was a little fed up of farming with stone tools, and so I used some of my scrap in the tech tree to learn the metal pickaxe and hatchet. Right, I think it's time to make this base a little bit bigger, so I could do with getting some stone. And with the pickaxe crafted, I headed out to farm some nodes to expand my base. made it back with that. That would have been sad to, uh, to have lost all that farm. Now I just need a little bit of wood to get the uh, metal smelting and to actually build the twig. That should be good. I had plenty of metal ore and so I loaded up my furnaces to get the fragments cooking. All I needed now was a little more wood to expand my base. Alright, that is plenty. I think it's time to get working on the build. Although I'm not sure just yet what I actually want to do with it. But, uh... I'll figure it out. Now I had absolutely no idea what I was building, and I was winging it as I went along. But I knew that I wanted to use the rock formation to completely shape my base and make it as unique as I could. Oh, why can I not place that? Not sure where I want my jump up here. That would be quite a cool loot room. Maybe I should have the jump up on that side. And then just have this as an open second floor. I want to have the exposed rock on the inside. I think that's so cool. Wait, what if I made the jump up through here? Oh, I'm not sure if I could fit. Let's see. I feel like I could fit through there. I think that would be so cool if the jump up was here. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. What if I had some windows here? I think that would be cool. Maybe right here. I like that. I do getting a campfire so I can actually see in here. I think I'll make this a window as well. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through there, so I'm just going to seal that up. All of that upgraded. Now I'll have the jump up over there. Let's get a couple of window bars and then. Ah, get me up. One and two. Cute. Let's get the shutters on there as well. For maximum role player vibes. Maybe this will stop me from getting raided. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is a funny little base. 
After some trial and error, I was finally happy with the second floor of my base. Let's get another Revy crafted. I'm getting some sulfur smelting as well. I'm starting to run out of ammo. Let's get some more stone. And as the sun rose, I grabbed a revolver and pickaxe to farm more stone to expand the base. Oh no. This is a scuffed jump up if ever I've seen one. Okay. <laughs> okay, I may need to do something about that. Right, where are all the nodes? <laughs> My base does look kind of funky though. Oh no! It's a bear! <laughs> Fucking Yogi! Oh, I knew things were going too smoothly. Get away! Oh, it hit me again. Motherfucker. Okay, let's get this jump up sorted because it's uh, a little bit scuffed at the moment, I won't lie. Oh, okay, I can place that triangle there, that's good. I don't think I can place that last foundation, but that'll do. That looks fine. I wish I could place that, though. Oh, well. Got just a little triangle uh, door here. Oh, that's so perfect. I could just squeeze through. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. That, like, fits so perfectly with the rock. Hopefully I can still fit through it with a door down. But I'm not sure. We got a double door here. Oh, okay, that is a still a very scuffed jump. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, I can still fit. Yes, that is so perfect. <laughs> I love it. Actually, ooh. okay, that's kind of tricky with that uh, triangle floor there. I think I'll just leave this bit open. That might be uh, make things slightly easier. I'll leave that as wood if I want to expand it later. Make that a window. No, I'll make it a wall. Nice. Maybe a little storage shelf. I think we're looking good. Before getting off for the night, I wanted to upgrade the core to metal to reduce the risk of any offline raiding. Place the bear rug. Add some honeycomb on this side just to make sure I don't get offline. It wouldn't be very fun if someone was to raid me tonight. It's been quite a long day. Nice. This <laughs> is such an interesting old base. I'm actually really liking it. 
I reckon if I just kind of keep expanding from it and keep growing it, it'll turn into something really, really cool. just so broken. Maybe I should uh, have a little go at a sat dish. I haven't actually been there yet this point. Could be interesting. Despite living so near, I'd yet to explore the satellite dish this way. I grabbed a revolver and headed there for a PvP run. Looks like Ellie's shooting at some people at the uh, sad dish actually. Oh my gosh. Someone's getting hammered. I've just cleaned up everything. Oh, it's loaded. Oh, another hundred and seventy scrap. Uh, I grabbed as much loot as I could carry and ran for the hills. Goodbye, I'm gone. Well, that was a good run. I've got enough for a tier 2. That's insane. Also got another P250. You know what? I'm gonna learn the silencer. I think that might help out on the PvP roam. With all the scrap I'd gained, I did some final researching of the night. I decided to test out the silencer, reducing the attention I would bring while shooting with a gun on wet day. Get that silencer crafted. I was tempted to do the handmade as well, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, last room of the night. Let's see what happens. Someone's already been back and looted everything. That's a shame. I'm pretty sure I left a big stack of sewing kits, which sucks. Is that a I don't know. I thought that was a gun. Ah, oh, Heli's being really annoying. Go away. Ooh, that is a very good player at the uh, supermarket. Should I try? I feel like I might as well. What have I got to lose? Is it just one? I think it might. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. It is two, and they saw me. Okay. <laughs> I may as well follow them. Could be worth it. Probably just gonna die, but... Oh, okay. I guess they were expecting that. Well, that's not gone very well. <laughs> I, think, I think that might be it for me. Uh, are they gonna come after me, or... Are they not bothered? I don't hear anything. 
And that wraps up my adventures on Wipe Day on Official Rust. Unfortunately, with the nature of the server, I was offline that night, which meant that I wasn't able to return to this series. But I still had a good time anyway, and I hope you enjoyed. With all that said, massive thank you to my patrons, and I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljam, out. If I get up off my bed just for once, will it rain down on me? If I get up off my bed just for once, will it rain down on me?